Audio test one, two, three. Okay guys, so today we have a few problems. So I bought a, we got a, well, back up here. We got a free plasma cutter that I put a cheap lead on and turned out it worked. Um, had a few issues with it, so I'm gonna fix that. The cheap lead I bought, the button broke off of it already because, uh, well, it's a piece of junk. And I bought a cheap lead because I wasn't sure if the plasma cutter was any good or not. Now that I know it is, um, I bought a, a nicer one. Now the problem is, is the first lead was damaged, so I had to buy this one. But I had to modify this one to work with this plasma cutter. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to modify it so I don't have to modify a lead again when I buy a new lead. So, yeah. Let me show you. Okay, so we'll get down to brass tacks here real quick. So, this here is a standard lead you'll buy when you buy one off Amazon. It's a two-pin lead. Uh, which is this is for your trigger um, and this particular one's got a really nice setup here where you uh here's your trigger right there to turn the plasma cutter on and off so with that being said um, this one came the same way but see that's a multi-pin i don't know if you can see that from here or not i'm trying to get straight to the lens here that is a multi-pin setup there you go you can see that pretty good and uh notice the plasma cutter here's got a multi-pin setup so what I'm going to do is, is from now on, so I don't have to worry about that, I have got in a package over here, here it is right here, I have got this, which uh, is a two-pin connector, and it will replace that one sitting right there. And so I'm going to put this new lead on, we're going to replace this connector and solder this one in, and uh, then we're going to test it out and make sure everything works right. And while we was at it, I went ahead and fixed the handle. I'm taking this right here off. So, uh, yeah, I'll get things set up, and we'll show you where that switch is. Or this, not switch, but this connector is. I'll take it out, and we'll uh, replace it. Okay, to start with, this thing is, like, loose already. And so, if we look in here, you can see the back side of it. It's only got those two wires going to it. So what I need to do is, is there's a nut back in there. I don't know if that's, you can't really see it because this yellow wire there. Now you can. There's a nut on the back side of that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set the camera here for a second like this. I'm going to reach in here from the other side. I'm going to go ahead and loosen that nut with my finger since it's already super loose. I'm going to drag this out. And so now that this is off on the front side, I come right here and you can see what I got. It's just two wires and it's for a switch, so it really doesn't matter which two you put them on for the new one, but it has multiple other ones that just aren't being used. So, not a big deal. So I'm going to get the soldering iron, we'll strip this little insulation off here, and I'll loosen that up and I'll just put them on the new one. Okay, so I've already loosened this with a wrench. I'm going to take this loose here get this out of the way that way it's one less thing to mess with we're going to be putting the new one on anyways and then uh, you'll laugh at me but I'll show you my uh, solder iron holders piece of pipe in the vise right now whatever works works right so set that back down here we can see what we're doing again and um, so these pieces of uh, heat shrink here I want to kind of reuse these and they're actually loose enough that I can grab them and slide them back up the wire here. So, at least that one was anyways. We'll get this one too. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Slide that back up through there. And so when I finish soldering on the new one, I'll just slide those back down to cover it. And well, that'll be good enough. So, see if our soldering iron's hot enough to uh, unsolder. There's 
one. There's two. Okay. So now I'm going to set the soldering iron back up for a second. Something I want to check before we get too excited is, is I'm going to pull these back through this back side. Because so I've got that nut and that washer in there. And uh, trying to fish in back out. I want to make sure that they are the same thread pattern as the one that I'm getting ready to put in. Gee whiz, now I can't get them out of there. Let me do this. I'll stick that through there like so. And now I can just grab them off the end of the screwdriver. Look at that. So here's the new one. And I've got a new nut and washer came with it, but I actually like the washer on this one better. So if it's the same thread pitch, which I am, yep, it is. Okay, so I'll just reuse that. If I had soldered this on there and it hadn't been right, then there we'd be. I have to unsolder the wires and change the nut again, so we don't want to do that. So now I'll stick the wires back through that. And uh, maybe I will. Well, easier said than done. I'll get the screwdriver again. There. Do that, hold that in place. And then uh, I can see the wires and bring the wires back through, just like that. Okay, so there's that. The wires are back out now. So, take my new end, and uh, I've got a little bit of solder here. one of those points where a man three hands would be nice. Hold on a second. Let me set something up here. Tell you what. Give me a second. I'll set this up better. Alright. With the help of a few pair of vice grips and a piece of square stock, I went ahead and got rid of some of those stuff laying here that was in my way. So I'm going to take this now and try and Heat that up to where it'll fit down in there a little bit better. That one's good now. Grab this one and break it back loose. I can push it down in there a little bit better. And that's good. Okay, that part's done. So, take my prop loose now get that stuff out of the way we'll see if I can't slide these down a little bit I might have to uh, where I press the wire kind of squeeze it back some so it's not as misshapen so the uh, heat shrink can go back over it if it will it may not but we'll just see here By golly, it looks pretty close. So let me get this side. I'm kind of hooking the heat shrink with my fingernails, pulling it down the wire. That way I'm not actually squeezing and pressing against the wire to move it. And this one may not work as well. That's going though. Little bit by little bit. Okay, and that's done. So now I'm going to go back in here, hold that nut, get that nut and washer back on there. Can't really 
you see what I'm doing. Okay, the washer's on. I just gotta get the nut started. Now I'm gonna try not to spin this piece too much. If I do, I'm gonna spin it back and forth so I'm not necessarily twisting my wires on the inside as I thread that on. So once I get that nut started real good, then I can, and that, that's a trick right there is get the nut started good. So. There we go. That's good. And now I can spin the nut with my finger. And I'm going to orientate this thing to where the uh, little nub is down, I believe. Yes. See the, and you can't hardly see it there, but I'll get the camera off here and show you. If you look, the little nub right there is in the down position. So now I'll take a wrench, I'll tighten that nut up on the back side. And then I'll uh, put the screws back in the cover here. I've got them all piled over here. And once I get the screws put back in the cover and the cover back on it, we'll uh, put the new lead on and test it out. Okay, so now it's game day. Um, take my new hose here and take our new end and sure enough, plugs right in there and Threads right on, so that part's good. And then, uh, let's see here. There was another piece here that went on. You know what? Yeah, I'll just leave that be. I ain't that worried about it. This piece here came off the original. I'm just going to put it back on there to shield that end of it. But... if that's right size wrench or not by golly it is look at that that was a gift so and i'm just putting that on there to kind of shield that end of it okay now i'll move it over there on top of the welder and we'll plug it in and i'll put something on the vent here and we'll test out our new plasma cutter in lead whatever you want to call it yeah that thing okay so Got the plasma cutter sitting on top of the welder. It's plugged in and we're going to turn it on. Of course it comes on, which we just changed the lead, so there's no reason why it shouldn't come on. And then, get this out of the way here. I have got my ground strap um, for the plasma cutter attached to the table. Okay? Let's put that down there some. Um, so it's, it's clamped on over here. And I'm going to use these vice grips here to... Uh, Clamp this piece down. We're going to cut the end off this. It's a fairly thick piece, so uh, I don't know, every bit of quarter inch or whatever. It's got some paint on it, so this might not go real well, but we'll find out. So, first off, I'm going to pull the trigger and turns the air on, and of course, it leaves it on for a minute. We've got it set at about 30 amps right now, and I've got it about 80 psi, so oh, hold on. Safety glasses. So, I don't know how well I'm going to like that little trigger right there, but uh, the little trigger guard, but let's see here. turn that up to about 40 amps so it don't seem like it cut all the way through real well so we'll back up a little bit right beside of it and look at that so uh yeah that worked out good new ends good i like it at least i think i do that feels a little loose but uh it's a swivel ball maybe it's just made that way so yep there's how you fix your lead in on a cheap plasma cutter we got that one for free so uh yeah not sure how much that one cost but it was a freebie 
And uh, so, let me reach you guys back up here. By the way, I'm shooting this on our new GoPro 9. This will be the first video to come out with the GoPro 9 that we bought uh, with our YouTube money. And if you ain't seen how that all worked out, you can go check out uh, one of our previous videos. But if you got a cheap plasma cutter and your lead goes bad on it, I think I bought this one off Amazon for like $34. And uh, so far, so good. So the other one was a bit cheaper when I first bought it, but we got the plasma cutter for free because it didn't have a lead. I didn't know if it worked or not. So it works. Uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff and thanks you guys and we'll see you later